If all our children want to come on down for our story this morning. So we've got a story this morning about a little sprite or fairy called the New Year. And so one cold morning, Maurice awoke from his dreams and sat up in bed. And he listened. He thought he heard a little knock at his window. But even though the moon was shining brightly, the frost had covered the window panes and he couldn't see out. So he crept out of bed and opened the window and whispered, who is there? I am, replied a tinkling voice. I am the little new year and I promise to bring a blessing to everyone. But I am such a little fellow, I need somebody to help me distribute them. Won't you please come out and help? Oh, it's so cold, said Maurice. I'd rather go back to my warm bed. Oh, never mind the cold, urged the new year. Please help me. So Maurice hurried into his clothes and was soon out in the yard. There he found a rosy-cheeked little boy, a little smaller than himself, pulling a very large cart, which seemed to be loaded with good things. And on one side of the cart was painted the word love, and on the other side, kindness. And as soon as the new year saw Maurice, he said, now please take hold and help me pull. And down the driveway and up the hill they traveled until they came to an old house. Here is where I make my first call, said the new year. And Maurice looked kind of wonderingly at him. And he said, well, nobody lives here except for the old man who works for us. And he hasn't any children. Oh, he needs my help, said the new year. For grown people like to be thought of just as much as children do. You shovel out a path to his door while I unload some of my blessings. And the little hands went busily to work, piling up warm clothing, wood, and a New Year's dinner. And old Joe, hearing the noise outside, came to the door. And when he saw all the nice gifts, tears ran down his cheeks for gladness. And as he carried them into his house, he said, The good Lord has been here tonight. Where are we going now, asked Maurice, as they ran down the hill. To take some flowers to a poor sick girl, said the New Year. And soon they came to a small house, and the New Year stopped. Why, Bessie lives here, said Maurice. I didn't know she was sick. And the New Year said, her window is open a little. Let us throw in this bunch of pinks into the room. And when she wakes, she will see them and will make her happy for several days. And then they hurried off to other places, leaving blessings behind everywhere they went. What a wonderful cart you have, said Maurice. Though you have taken so much out, it never seems to get empty. And you are right, Maurice. There is never any end to love and kindness. As long as I find people to love and be kind to, my cart is full of blessings for them and it will never grow empty until I can no longer find people to help. If you will go with me every day and help me scatter my blessings, you will be happy all year long. And that is exactly what Maurice did, and he was the most kind and loving person you ever met. And with that, our story ends, and Isla is gonna come up and help us pass the flame this morning. From generation to generation, we light this flame of religious freedom. Now we will follow out Isla as we sing, Go Now in Peace. <laughs> 